Hey everyone, Dr. Mungi here. In this particular video, let me explain to you what is glycemic index, what is glycemic load and what is insulin index. Now the glycemic index, it is the measure of how much amount of glucose has been raised from the point that we take the food until 2 hours. When we take carbohydrates, especially when we take carbohydrate diet like you know, white rice. So how soon this glucose rises in the blood? So basically the rise in the glucose in the blood, it will be denoted with the uh, curve. So the area under the curve, so if I put the curve something like this, so the area under the curve, whatever it represents, it is the representation of glycemic index of that food. Generally stating, uh, if the fiber content in the food is less, glycemic index of the food is increased. It's like uh, sugar. Now the pure sugar or the pure glucose, when we consume, it, the blood glucose shoots up, so the curve will sharply rise. And the area under the curve, we basically it indicate the we say that it's a glycemic index. So higher the area under the curve, so means a sharp peak there that the, the, this particular food has higher glycemic index. So for pure glucose for the sugar, so we say glycemic index of 100. So that's 100 percent taken as a, a reference. Now if you compare that with the white rice, so when you consume white rice which has got least amount of fiber like 1 gram of fiber per 100 gram of white rice, glycemic index of white rice is 72, it has got 78 grams of uh, uh, carbohydrate per 100 gram of white rice. So that means uh, it sharply rises the blood glucose level, so as the blood glucose level increases, so there can be increased uh, peak of insulin release from beta cells of pancreas. So that's what is the glycemic index. So roughly lower the fiber, higher the glycemic index or higher the fiber in the food, lower the glycemic index. Now let's talk about gly glycemic load. Now the glycemic load, it is the measure of uh, amount of carbohydrate that is taken in the food along with the glycemic index of that particular food. So basically glycemic load, we class, uh, we, uh, we calculate glycemic load, GL, is, uh, it is the glycemic index multiplied by, so the grams of carbs, grams of carbohydrate that is there in that particular food and divided by 100. So if the glycemic index is say uh, 100 like uh, pure sugar and if you take uh, 10 grams of that pure sugar, so 100 uh, multiplied by 10 and divided by 100 there, so that will be your uh, glycemic load will be 10. So glycemic load of uh, sugar, uh, which is taken, uh, the glycemic index is 100 uh, grams of sugar that you have taken is 10 and uh, over 100, so that is the glycemic load of 10 here. So it means uh, we are in glycemic load, we consider glycemic index plus the amount of carbohydrate that is taken per serving. So in general, so overall, so glycemic uh, load uh, per day for optimal health, it should be maintained less than 100. That should be the glycemic load target per day. So, uh, uh, glycemic load per uh, serving, if you look into the glycemic load per serving, so the glycemic load per serving, if it is uh, 10, less than 10 or 10, 10 or less than 10, it is a low glycemic load. If the glycemic load is between 11 and 19, it's a moderate glycemic load. And if the glycemic load is more than 20 per serving, I'm talking about per serving, so that will be high glycemic load. So always remember, so you, uh, you know, try to keep glycemic load per serving uh, around uh, at 10 or little more than 10, not really exceeding 20 because that will exceed our overall target uh, of glycemic load per day. Uh, should be less than 100. So that's what is the glycemic load. Now come to uh, insulin index. Now the insulin index it is the measure of how much amount of insulin is released into the blood from the beta cells of pancreas after the consumption of a carbohydrate diet. So the glycemic index is the amount of sugar that is raised in the blood. Glycemic load is the glycemic index multiplied the carbohydrate uh, content in the food uh, over 100. Now the insulin index is it is the rise of insulin in response to the glucose that is uh, that is raised in the blood. So 
any food that has got high glycemic index where there is a sharp price in the blood glucose level that will also lead to sharp insulin spike there. So, this kind of uh, insulin response we refer it as insulin index. So, generally speaking, a uh, food which has got high glycemic index will also have a high insulin index. So, it is always uh, good to avoid foods with the high glycemic index, uh, especially uh, just to put it in general, uh, uh, sugar, any uh, sweet, uh, so that has got a high glycemic index. And also, if the uh, food is made with a refined flour, so that has got high glycemic index. So make sure you reduce the foods that has made from refined flour or uh, uh, sweet uh, without much fiber in that like fruit. So there is a difference between eating a uh, whole fruit or drinking a fruit juice. So that kind of things has to be taken care of. So make sure there is a lot of fiber in your diet. So that's all about a uh, little bit about glycemic index, glycemic load and insulin index. So I hope this video has helped you in understanding some of these terminologies. Thanks for watching.